let's start our process plan so rename part i already show you so and also frequently you need to save this option if you want to save because normally if anything uh, happen or any uh, you are busy with any other job so that uh, frequently you can save it if you forget to save maybe after uh, working uh, for so long maybe three and four hour after you forget to save and close this at this then it will, your data will be gone so uh, better frequently save save the past plan after that uh, we can start with the general information we can write our ship's name msc number call sign and all this information master name and voice uh, details all this uh, from from which port to which port we are going and also here we have some uh, auto calculation we can uh, calculate uh, sometimes normally we give the distance to the master to calculate our next uh, eta and suppose we can bar to pilot station and uh, uh, this is a departure time this is the arrival time from uh, Eastern Boarding Ground Charlie, Singapore uh, to Eastern Petroleum Anchorage Alpha. So our distance is around uh, 1312 nautical mile, around 1312 nautical mile. So maybe captain can be asked uh, how much the distance uh, we can immediately can keep to the master. Here we have some draft information, we can put the draft throughout the passage plan. Maybe is there any draft changes that when you can make, uh, you can change also in the waypoint. So let's go to the waypoint. So in the waypoint, normally have each and every leg have some different information. All of the information you need to check one by one. You can put the name also for your reference. Uh, different waypoint have some different name. Maybe on the open sea we don't put some name because uh, no benefit. That is uh, only just open sea. Also maybe here I put um, SCOM. That means uh, in this waypoint we need to send our SCOM report and also we are entering the SCOM zone. I'll put in the description that what is SCOM is all about in Malaysian area. After that, all these waypoints is over here. This uh, position either you can put it also manually also you can put or uh, maybe graphically also you can drag the waypoint uh, so that automatically this uh, position will come. Normally we graphically we just to put it graphically. No, I do not find any second officer. Maybe in the previous time we put uh, on the paper chart all this uh, waypoint uh, position uh, in the one by one and also maybe my manually normally we just drag the waypoint as per our requirement uh, so that our position come automatically after that all this bearing and distance coming out also automatically and also have total distance uh, this one also come automatically after that we have cross track area as per our company policy uh, the minimum cross track area is 0 0.10 nautical mile and after that uh, here is the pilot station after that we are uh, already departure from the port and this is uh, just open sea that's why we put uh, a cross track area around 0 0.50 nautical mile on port in starboard again we entering the singapore strait that time it will be less around uh, Horsburg Lighthouse we put around 0 0.20 nautical mile maybe we cannot go 0 0.20 also there is very congested water and also very busy traffic area so we cannot prostrate so much also maybe we need to keep on the track or if uh, for collision evidence also you, you want to divert your course also you can do as well after that we have all this turn radius option as our ship is not that much big enough, well, a well-in chemical tanker ship is, is normally a small type and handy type, so that uh, our prostrate area is uh, very less. Maybe it is if it is a BLCC or ULCC, that time this prostrate area will be more. Uh, this is uh, as per your uh, all this turning circle and uh, um, all this thing, uh, all calculation uh, comes into over here. So this turn radius also you can put manually and also automatically also come. After that, have this remarks option. Uh, we can put uh, some remarks uh, for the for the navigator that means uh, for your ow uh, because uh, you are the second officer but uh, you are not doing navigation watch all the time you are doing only maybe eight hour another system or do the rest of the officer or captain or chief officer or third officer junior officer whoever doing they can uh, get some information from here so that how much the bridge, uh, bridge was keeping level position fixing interval and all the uh, cat, cat joke area because normally uh, on in during uh, monitoring passes that time we normally we stop the cat joke option to declutter the information on the screen so all they also have some uqc this uqc basically is a minimum uqc the more a minimum uqc on that particular leg so this one also has uh, calculation uqc calculation on our uh, computer we do some calculation after calculate uh, calculation we uh, get this uqc 
after that we have this draft option in the draft uh, draft option uh, it can be same if it is the uh, same suppose you want to change the draft like uh, 5.6.5 or 3.5 uh, 7.5 8 or whatever it is after changing you just uh, click on the right button then fill uh, seal down is all coming automatically this one is uh, so no need to put uh, all these y point that uh, separately like uh, 8.5 8.5 like this just uh, make uh, changes on the one option or maybe you can uh, put it the downside also suppose this one 8.5 you can put like uh, fill cells up if fill cells up that means all the option will up will be the suppose 12.5 fill cells up this all will be 12.5 you see uh, upside so it's very easy and uh, shortcut after that uh, squat squat also you can put uh, manually or maybe automatically also it will come UKC calculation as I uh, told you this UKC also coming uh, automatically uh, and also you can put manually also after your manual uh, calculation and this masthead as per your ship's particular like uh, how much masthead height you can put uh, this one also manually this uh, data after that if you click on this ok button all the masthead height will become overhead clearance normally this uh, this voice we do not we do not need to cross any bridge or any height uh, any uh, overhead clearance we no need to do this overhead clearance this time because there is no bridge uh, during this process if you have any bridges in during uh, any passage that time maybe you need to do this overhead clearance because uh, you need to go to the under the bridge that time you need to get this overhead clearance how much uh, overhead clearance you will be there to cross any bridge because there are so many accident happen uh, when passing the bridge uh, so that time uh, you need to do this calculation reference point i already told you about the reference point before all this information you can get from here after that bearing and distance safety contour safety depth all this information also coming automatically and also you can put manually also by after calculating your manual calculation next we go to the schedule on the schedule part have uh, different eta and also same like y point name and also have time zone uh, if you uh, are in a same time zone so there is no need to change on the waypoint maybe you are crossing a different time zone or different country that time you need to change this time zone on the waypoint also you can change this all this time zone uh, on different if you have different time zone or if it is same then maybe you can just click on like this change the because we are in singapore malaysia area is plus eight so just apply and fill cells down like this all this time zone will be select after that we have estimated departure time and time to go and total time speed this here we normally we update the time zone first after that we update the speed first speed from where coming as per our previous experience uh, we can get how much speed we can uh, we want to make or how much speed uh, our maximum speed can be we can put all this like uh, when departure time pilot station around four knot after the uh, full away maybe we just uh, stand by after after commercial CPSs, it slowly will increase. Uh, we slowly will increase our RPM so that it will be around nine, nine knot. After that, we assume that around twelve point two knot or twelve point five knot like this. After again, when we coming uh, to near to the horseback lighthouse and near to the pilot station, Eastern Boarding Ground Charlie, again four knot because we need to slow down. Also, that time we we need to ask the passing our pilot also how much speed uh, we should maintain so that uh, that time normally singapore pilot or bts uh, give instruction that uh, okay please maintain uh, five knot please maintain seven knot or maybe please captain uh, stop your engine depend upon pilot boarding area different upon um, different, different traffic separation uh, flow depend upon different, different traffic uh, traffic flow and also boarding side maybe starboard side port side whatever it will be there after that again after pilot boarding again will be speed up so around 7 knot 10 knot all this speed schedule on the schedule the two important thing is our time zone and also the speed because uh, i'll show you one magic if you are new that uh, after we go to the voice plan from here go to the voice plan and uh, click this option you see all this calculation come automatically so no need to calculate all this uh, estimated departure time or time to go whatever all this no need to do all this eta and all these options fill up automatically after filling up time zone and speed suppose if you do not put any speed okay let's see speed becomes zero huh? so try to uh, click on this button okay 
you see insufficient data to perform calculations so no no calculation coming so this uh, two information is uh, really important to do this auto calculation so so that we check like okay this one again 12 point i just put 12 point 2 then we click again yeah see calculation completed that means all the calculation done perfectly so no need to worry about all this calculation this all calculation will do automatically so for this waypoint options uh, are like this if you have any doubt or any confusion you can uh, write in the comment section below so that i will try to give you an answer